Hi guys, Jesse here. I'm back. Sorry I skipped a week last week. It was Christmas and also I had a couple of health issues that I had to take care of. This will probably be the last video I put up for the year 2016. So what I'm going to do right now is introduce you guys to a few of my works that I do off of YouTube. So I basically started to publish my work uh, at around 2013. And I'm going to show you guys some of the builds that I've done you could probably say I'm most proud of. Now some of the photos are going to be low quality. Uh, I recently lost my SSD due to a power supply uh, failure. And I lost basically all my files. Yeah, no, I didn't back it up. Stupid me. Anyways, um, here's a quick tour of the builds that I've done before. Centurion was the first build I made that won an award. It took one of the third place spots on the case mod competition held by Cooler Master in 2013. This was all handmade. I didn't even have a Dremel when I made this. I basically built it with these tools that I made by myself. A few years later, I built another Centurion. I call it Centurion 2. <laughs> This was my first project with Bits Power, and it was also one of my first projects with Asus as well. Another highlight of my career was when Asus asked me to build a display build for them at Computex 2014 to feature the release of the Asus Sabranco or the Sabertooth Mark S. Asus had a competition to celebrate the 500 millionth motherboard sold, and they asked me to build the prize. I called this one Tiger Soul. I was contacted by MSI to build with their Z97 crate motherboard. Now this was a first release. I was the first ever to build this. They didn't even have the proper logo for the crate edition yet. So I had to make my own. Now the pinnacle of my career to date was Juggernaut. Took the Thermaltake case modding competition season 2 first place. Uh, alongside very heavy hitters in the modding industry. I was fortunate enough to win that. So Juggernaut was at CES 2016. Juggernaut also gave me my ticket to my first Computex trip. Up next, another project with Asus, and this time it's with Thermaltake. This one is Scavenger. I'm hoping you guys have seen the video series I made on this. It was part of the modding fighting championship that Thermaltake hosted. Scavenger is on my top list of best builds I've ever made. And it will be featured in Taiwan on Computex 2017 on the Thermal Take Group. Now on to my personal builds. So these are the builds that I use on a daily basis. This is the first build I ever posted on YouTube. It's a Core P5 build. Meet Kuro. Kuro was my first project with Cooler Master. It has undergone so many revisions and what I'm going to show here is probably just a few of the revisions. Switchblade was the first project I ever had with Inwin. It's also co-sponsored by Bitspower and Asus. A few weeks later, I entered a local competition with another revision of Switchblade, which I called Switchblade RB, or Rebuilt. Vanity is also one of the builds I featured in YouTube, and um, you guys have probably seen how I built it. Project Overcast was another build that I went through so many revisions after I finished the YouTube video. Here are pictures of some of the final versions. My little white box, sponsored by Asus. There's also a video on YouTube for this. Runt was my first project with Fractal Design. Uh, it's also co-sponsored by Asus. Now, Orens was the first ever P3 build that ever got put out. Uh, I was one of the very few people Thermaltake sent it to well, when they first released it. This build I called Pedigreen, a uh, second project with Fractal, co-sponsored by Bitspower and again Asus. I was sent a uh, Cooler Master Master Case 5 for a local competition that's ongoing currently. I built Master Kiss just to familiarize myself with the measurements and how the loops can possibly go. Here are the builds that I've featured on my YouTube channel this year.
Alright, here are some of my early work when I started modding. Um, actually, before these pictures or before these builds, I've already modded before, but social media was really not a thing at the time, and I really didn't care to take pictures that much of my previous builds. Now, along with these series of pictures, you'll also see some of the work that I've done over the past uh, year for some clients as well. This build is called Frog Stomp. My girlfriend built this. Uh, I helped her with a couple of things. This build was also sponsored by BitPhoenix. A few months later, she upgraded to a P3. So this is where all the YouTube magic happens. Uh, this PC edits all the videos. Water cooling is life. So here are some of the builds I've water cooled. Client builds help a lot in terms of cash flow, but the bread and butter of modding in the Philippines basically are the simple accessories that um, you know a client asks you to make for them for their own cases. So here are a few of the PSU covers and SSD covers and backplates that I've done. Now again, I constantly make this on a weekly basis, so the pictures you see here are just a few of what I make. I also make headset stands. I pretty much probably started the whole headset stand trend. Uh, other modders have been taking the lead on that one, um, improvising and improving their own versions, but at least I'm happy to know that I started the trend as far as I know. So that was it. Um, a brief story of pictures that uh, you know showcased uh, some of the work that I do. 2016, was a great year. Uh, I concentrated more on client builds this year than I did before. Uh, previously, I concentrated on sponsored builds. So 2016 carried the most milestones of my modding career. Um, took me to my first Computex trip, got me in one-of-a-kind special modding competition, and uh, a lot more. So I'm looking forward to 2017. Currently working on the 200 series motherboards. I'm not gonna tell you guys which motherboard or which company, but you're gonna see it the first week of January, which is next week. Yeah, um, stay tuned for that. By the way, if you guys noticed, uh, Thermal Tape gave me a Christmas gift, a personalized comfort uh, X Comfort chair. Props to Thermal Take for you know um, saving my ass literally and my back. I used to use a plastic chair for probably like four years. Uh, this is the first time I've ever owned something this comfortable. Um, again, thank you very much, Thermal Take. To all you guys, thank you for a wonderful 2016. I never really expected this channel to you know grow this fast. Thank you for all the love that you've shown for all the questions thank you for all the comments thank you for all the criticisms thank you for all the emails that i get the likes the dislikes 
uh, the shares, everything. All right, so guys, it's New Year's. Enjoy the family, enjoy fireworks or whatever it is you do to celebrate New Year's. So again, happy holidays. Jesse here from JP Modified. See you next week. Mood on!